Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1111. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about how silver rocketed higher. Wow, silver really took off today, up 7.26%. And that was after a 2% drop in the dollar really caused a bullish spark as silver tried to break out. And the junior silver mining stocks were up 9.85% today. Of course, silver miners are in some of the gold mining ETFs. GDX has some, and it was up 10% today. And the small junior gold miners, GDXJ, was up 10.66% today. So the silver mining companies were doing well, and Spot Silver was very strong today. But to really be breaking out and to confirm that, silver needs to break above a $21.45 price before we can really see a sustainable rally for sure. But the truth is, silver is in a shortage, and we've known that for a long time. According to the U.S. Mint, worldwide silver fabricators are struggling to keep up with demand for silver blanks. The Mint's silver suppliers are increasing capacity in an effort to meet demand. The Mint is also reaching out to additional fabricators to supply silver. So the Mint itself doesn't have enough silver blanks because silver is running a little bit short. And that goes all the way back to the pandemic when mines were shut down, work was stopped, mining for silver altogether. And so this really has never caught back up. So there's so much demand for silver, but being able to keep up and provide the supply is what's challenging. Now, when you look at some of the exchanges like the COMEX, Registered silver as a category is trending toward zero. So some people think between January and May of 2023, we may actually run out of silver on the exchanges if the current trend continues. But the truth is that could happen at any minute. If someone had a paper contract for silver and they wanted physical supply to be delivered and it wasn't able to be delivered because they couldn't locate physical silver, that's when the game really will change. And the real price of silver will have to be acknowledged, not just a paper price. One of the most respected CEOs in the silver mining industry is Keith Newmeyer, CEO of First Majestic Silver. And he said that 80 million ounces of silver are consumed by the automotive sector. Cars need silver and also the electric vehicles that are being made now are in desperate need of silver. All of our electronics need silver, our computers, our cell phones televisions, etc. He also said 160 ounces is consumed by the solar panel sector. So 80 million ounces consumed by the automotive sector plus 160 ounces consumed by the solar panel sector is 240 million ounces. Well, only 850 million ounces were mined this year. So those two buyers are taking a significant amount of the supply. Keith Newmeyer said, quote, miners have no control over price. $19.50 is a stupid price. The big banks and hedge funds set the price. They think a recession is coming, so they short silver. Well, we have heard that hedge funds are short, meaning that they're borrowing silver, selling it into the market, hoping that the price goes down and they can buy it back at a lower price and make the difference between what they sold it at and the price they buy it back for. Whereas the major banks now are long silver, meaning that they own it, hoping that the price will go up, just like us regular investors. But we also know that the banks have been fined a lot of money for spoofing silver prices. So faking prices in the market to try and control what's going on with the pricing of silver. And now India reported it was buying 1,706 tons of silver in September up 163% year over year, surpassing all previous September import levels on record. 
So here's India massively importing silver. We don't exactly know why. We don't know if they're hoarding it for their technology industry, but that's another huge buyer of silver. So there's no shortage of demand, certainly for silver. There's just a shortage of supply, but the supply and demand equilibrium aren't allowed to come into natural balance because of the shorting by the hedge funds. Because of that, they're artificially suppressing the price of silver because they can do it with paper contracts. If you don't have to have the physical silver in hand and you can just represent silver with contracts, then you can do all kinds of things to the price. But when you actually have to produce the physical silver, that's where it gets hard because there isn't a lot of silver around to be delivered. The truth is demand is way above what silver miners are producing and there's a massive deficit. And that's why it's still a bargain for us to be able to invest in things like silver eagles. They're $39, which is about $20 over the spot price. That's crazy, but that tells us that there is an equilibrium problem between supply and demand. I was looking at one silver website and it had a silver buffalo nickel, which my dad used to have a coin collection. And I remember looking at his buffalo nickels. They're old nickels that were made with an Indian head on them. They're beautiful. But the funny thing is a nickel that's pure silver is now worth $29. Just think about that. A nickel that was made years ago, but in pure silver today sells for $29 because of its silver content. Even though if you spent it in the marketplace, you'd only get a nickel for it. If you're in the market to buy some silver, you can look at the appmex.com website, A P like Peter M E X, or the J M Bullion website, or the S D Bullion website. I also like the One Gold app. It's an app on your phone that you can download, and Sprott and Schiff have gotten together to provide an easy way to buy silver or silver coins. However you want to invest, you can use the One Gold app. They do also allow you to buy and take possession of the silver, although if that's your plan, that's probably not the most cost-effective way to do that. But if you change your mind and you've bought it and you hold your silver on your phone app and you decide later that you want to have it delivered, yes, you can have that done. So we'll keep an eye on silver. This is a big day today, probably more of a response to the dollar being weak today, but we'll see. One of these days, silver is going to go limit up, which means the maximum price increase that it can have in a day. When that happens, we'll know supply and demand is getting back into equilibrium the way that it should be. Until then, silver is still the best bargain on earth, I think, and a tremendously undervalued asset. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.